Hello and welcome to another episode of Foss Cooking. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can keep eating steaks without breaking the bank. And the secret is this right here. This is a whole beef tenderloin. Now, this is something that a lot of people, you know, if you see it in your grocery store, if your grocery store actually carries it, they might just pass it up because they're like, oh my gosh, this is such a big piece of meat. What on earth am I supposed to do with this? Do I have to cook the whole thing all at once? You could do that, but the tenderloin is what a lot of different cuts of steak are taken from, specifically uh, sirloin and filet mignon. Like it's basically just a really small cut out of this big piece of meat right here. And you actually end up paying a lot less money when you get a big cut of meat like this and you cut your own steaks from it because then you're not paying for that extra packaging that the steaks are in and you're not paying for the labor to cut up the pieces of steak and obviously there's less chances to mark stuff up. So yeah, I mean, you can see, well, this here, I got it on a manager special. So $44 for just over eight pounds of beef. You can't beat that. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's even cheaper than ground beef. So anyway, let's get started by cutting open this big old piece of meat here. of beef. My goodness. It's too big even for my largest plastic cutting board. All right, I'm gonna just place this liner down under my cutting board. Well, actually under my parchment paper because the cutting board was just bare on the counter. It wouldn't be sliding around. All right, there we go. Don't gotta worry about any sliding. Now I can start compiling my steaks. So with a cut like this, you typically end up having some silver skin on it. Like this is a pretty large band of it right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off. Let's see, it looks like it actually starts here and then gets wider. And you might lose a little bit of meat during this uh, process here. It's not a terribly big deal. You'll get better at this with time. Just think about how much you're saving by cutting your own steaks. So yeah, this bit here, you don't want that.
You can also trim off bits of fat. You know, as much fat as you want if you want to get leaner steaks off of this. It's the same thing that they'd be doing in a, uh, in a butcher shop if they're preparing steaks. Large chunks of fat like this. Might not render too well, might not cook too well. All right, I think that's going to be good enough for me. So now let's get to cut, and I'm actually going to cut it. Uh, well, you know what I think I'm going to do is first just cut it right down the middle. So I've got two pieces of steak that are going to be a little bit easier to deal with. All right, so... <clears throat> You know, obviously you've got the uh, thinner end, and then you've got the fatter end. But for this tip here, typically what uh, people recommend is you just kind of cut that a little bit uh, thicker this way, and then that way you just have, you know, like one or two steaks here. So I'll probably do something like uh, right there. So we'll call that a steak. And uh, let's see, I think I'll probably do the same thing here with this one. Yeah, this one I could have gone either way with it. Then I'll show you what we start doing now. I like my steaks a little bit thicker, so I'm probably gonna do like three fingers wide. So now the idea is that's the top of your steak, that's the bottom of your steak. Look at that. So this one here, oh yeah, it's gonna get cut right in half. Boom, top of your steak, bottom of your steak. I mean, look at that. That's good steak right there. for about $5 a pound. I mean, you really can't beat that. All right, we'll do the same thing with this end here. And we don't really have to make different size steaks until we get to the very end. 
So yeah, these are gonna be some real thick boys here. Oh, ho, ho. I mean, look at that. Nice marbling. I think this is Australian beef. If uh, I'm not mistaken, probably said so on the packaging at the beginning of the video. Now I'm actually gonna cut just this little fat nodule off right there. I mean, look at that. It's practically coming off anyway. These are actually some pretty lean steaks. And that fat strip's probably gonna come off too. Yeah, maybe I'll leave it. Ooh, now that is a big steak right there. All right, and then I think I'll just cut one more out of here. And this here is gonna be another flat steak. So let's see how many steaks we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven steaks. We can eat steaks all week, boys. And then we got some uh, beef here. I mean, a lot of this is uh, silver skin, so I guess there ain't really much that you can do with this. I don't know. Maybe turn it into like sinew for a bow or something. <laughs> but uh, this fat could be rendered down, you know, make some beef tallow. But I'm just going to move forward with seasoning these steaks and getting them on my grill. Now for my seasonings, I'm going to be keeping things pretty traditional. I'm going to be using some coarse sea salt, as well as some garlic powder and some black pepper.
You know, one of the things I really love about thick steaks like this is they're easy to just turn on their sides and then season on the sides. I mean, look at this, with thin steaks, we'd be struggling to do this. All right, let's go fire up our grill, get it ready for these beautiful pieces of meat. All right, so we've got our charcoal heating up in our charcoal chimney. And we've got fire marshal grep here, keeping an eye on it, making sure everything stays safe. Isn't that right, fire marshal grep? So we got our charcoal warming up, and Fire Marshal Grep is here to make sure everything stays safe. Isn't that right, Fire Marshal Grep? All right, I just received an alert from Fire Marshal Grep that my fire is ready. Yeah, I'd say that's hot enough to cook on. starting to get pretty hot so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my steaks on
Alright, six steaks. Those are loaded. Check on them in a few. All right, our steak is finally done. Let's go ahead and cut into it and see how it came out. All right, got a bit of pink on the inside, probably about a, I'd say that's around a medium. Mmm, and it is so good. Mm-hmm. I tell you, the butter basting is really what makes the difference there. Oh man, that's so good. Such a good steak. Mmm. I'm so glad I've got eight pounds of this. <laughs> That's the thing, this is so good. I could literally just eat the whole thing if I really wanted to. And there's always more where that nice medium cooked steak came from. Mmm. I tell you, there's nothing like a butter based steak. The only thing that makes it better is the fact that now the recipe is open source and you can try it for yourself. Let me know how it comes out. Peace.